Hello, this is Juan from Comics on Comics, and I'm here talking to Alana Jordan, who has dressed up as a pinup Pikachu. Yeah. That that is well, that's pretty sexy. Um, so uh, who made it? I made this actually a couple days ago, right before the con. I wasn't gonna make anything new this year, and I saw everybody's Instagram posts and got the cosplay envy. So I made a last minute, threw something together. So so uh, I guess Pokemon Go comes out. Pokemon gets huge. And, and so how, how long did it take you to do this? Um, I did this one. I stayed up all night and just pulled an all-nighter right before the con and did it in a day and a half. Wow. I went down to the fashion district, sewed it in a few hours, made the tail, which I broke and then refixed. <laughs> but the only reason is for the Pika shoes because it's a pun. Ah. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm a big fan of Aunt Lucia, who does the DC bombshells, yeah. so I wanted to do kind of like a Pokemon version of that, like kind of an allusion to. So you so you, you like the, that pinup look, right? And, you, yeah. and you're, you're turning your characters into that pinup. What is it about that pinup style that, that you love? I just love all that it just, everything that it represents, like female empowerment and just feeling awesome and making like things cute and sexy but classy at the same time and so it's just a really cool genre to get to incorporate into my geekdom <laughs> so now you you know you said y you absolutely you look gorgeous. why why go why go sexy with pikachu it wasn't really like a trying to be sexy thing it was more just i wanted to do one of the dc bombshells and then the Pikachu, Pikachu's idea popped in my head, and so then it just became like an amalgamation of, I haven't slept in days, and this seems like a good idea. <laughs> so, so what you did was you started with a pun first, yeah. and then worked your way up. Yep. That is awesome. The bottom, now we're here. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. So how, how long have you been cosplaying? Um, about 10 years, yeah. I started back in Atlanta, doing like Dragon Con and everything, and moved out here about four years ago, so... Wow. So, what are you? Wh what would you hope to see? You know, like cosplay has gotten huge. You know, people aren't just dressing up; they're they're creating their own characters, like you have. They're they're mashing things up. What are some of the mashups you have seen that you love? I love all the crossplays. Like those are my favorite. Everything that's like a mashup. There was one that we wanted to do that we didn't have time to do that I wanted to was a Lil Wayne's World. So it was like Wayne's World and Lil Wayne mixed up. Like anything that is like a wordplay, so I think it's hilarious and I love it. So. So, so the, the the term you just used was was cross play. Is that cosplay like crossover? Okay. Cross I don't know if it's a real thing. I might have just made it up, but I say it all the time like it's real. So. Well, I I've never heard it, and I think that's great. <laughs> Absolutely, that is awesome. You heard it here first. Just got coined. A a that's right. It it did. Um, so you know if if you can do anything, like if if people can watch you do something, right, for hours, what what would you do? What do you mean? Like, you know, so you, you, you completely put together this. Like, yeah. would, you, would you, like, you know, set up a camera and then just go full on make a costume from scratch? Well, I actually um, hosted a show for Popcorn Talk Network for a while called Cosplay Coach, oh. where we taught people how to do different cosplay things. Um, but we're actually going to be starting a new show that will be called Cosplayground, where it will be more of an actual how-to. So less tips and tricks and more of a here's the camera, here's the sewing machine. Let's show you how to do it. So if you've never done it before, it's not as intimidating as people think. Wow, that that is awesome. Well, that's that's a surprise. I didn't know that. Uh, well, then we'll probably talk again. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs>